Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another Christmas gift idea. I'm using here the Christmas colors for this bracelet and I have this same bracelet in classical colors and I'll link to it here at the eye icon to see just to have in mind how colors could change a jewelry piece beyond recognition. And I'm showing it really easy and slowly and it is like a beginner's level tutorial and I'm sure if you try you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you have any questions you could always ask me in the comments. I'm answering to most of your comments. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will also be able to make your Christmas gifts for the season. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. You could check description for link to my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips, link to all the materials needed link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads, the Christmas colors. Here I use four by six millimeter crystals, also called rondelles. Uh, these are 80 seed beads. These are 8 millimeter pearls. This is a regular lobster clasp and two jump rings in this beautiful old gold color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or so 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice, fire line, whatever you like. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are pliers that I use to attach my clubs to my work. Okay guys, so now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle or, or you could even take more thread depending on how long you want your bracelet to be. And uh, here I'm using nine pearls but you could use more if your wrist is larger. So now I will take the thread and I'll be back. Okay guys and now I'm going to start making my bracelet and in my first step I'm taking one of my pearls and I'm going with my thread and needle through it. Okay and here I'm leaving a small tail and first I'm going to pick up eight of these beautiful red beads. Okay. And I have here eight beads on my needle. And as I'm holding my tail thread here, I'm going back through this pearl. Okay, just like this. Then I flip my work to this side and I'm going to repeat this still holding my tail thread. But this time with golden beads. I'm taking eight of them. Okay, now I have my eight here. And what I do, guys, is that I go back through this pearl one more time. Okay, now I have this. Now, what I do only in my first step when I work with the first pearl of my bracelet is that I go back in this direction in order to make a knot. It will get easier when you continue with your work, just the first pearl is a little bit tricky, okay? So now here I'm exiting out of this bead here and I'm going to make a knot and I'm taking my tail thread, I'm making a loop and I'm taking my tail thread, I'm making a loop and I'm going once and then I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I pull. Then what I do is that I go here 
through the center of my pearl and pull again. Okay? Now I will continue without holding this tail thread and it will become easier. So now I'm taking green beads, eight of them. Okay, and I have my eight beads here and I'm going back in circle through this pearl. Okay, now I have this. Now I'm going to take eight red beads. Okay, I have my eight here. And again, I'm going through this pearl. Okay, and after the red, it comes the golden one and I'll pick up eight goldens. Okay, I have my eight goldens here. And what I do is that I go back here through this pearl. Okay, now I have this. And what it comes are eight green beads. Okay, eight greens. And I'm after the golden. I'm going back here through my pearl one more time. Okay. Now, guys, I will repeat the three rows one more time. First, I'm taking eight red beads. Okay, I have my eight red beads. And I'm here after the green one. And I'm going back through my pearl. Okay. I have this. Now I will take eight goldens. Okay, eight goldens. And what I do is that I go back through the pearl. Okay, and what I need is the last row which will consist of green beads. Okay, these are the last eight beads. And what I do next is that I go through this pearl in this direction. And I pull. Now you see what I have. I have nine rows in total surrounding this pearl. Each one consists of eight beads and there are three colors, three reds, three goldens and three green rows. Okay. So now in my next step here, I need to attach a bead where I will attach my clasp. Okay. That's why I'm taking this A tool. It has a larger hole and there will be no problem to attach my clasp to it. Okay. I'm taking it. Then I'm going back through the center of my pearl and in this way it is attached here but what I want to do is additional reinforcement that is why I go through one of the rows of eight beads go through them then exit here again through these bead in order to make an additional thread pad and reinforce it and then go back through the pearl one more time okay now i have this and from here on guys what i want to do is take one ato one crystal and one ato okay this is what i have on my needle and i'm sliding those down like this. This will be the splitter between my elements of my Christmas bracelet. Okay, now I take one of the pearls as well and I slide it down. Okay, here at this uh, step you could also cut this tail thread. Okay, I'm cutting it because I don't need it anymore. And 
I slide this down and I'm going to continue making this thing at this pearl okay and now it will be easier because I won't have any knots and I won't need to hold my tail thread okay so now in my first step I'm taking eight red beads okay I have my eight and I'm going back here through this pearl Okay, and at this stage be careful because you want to push your work as close as possible to this uh, ato bit and to the other elements. Okay, so now what comes are eight golden beads and I have my eight goldens here. And I will go back here in circle through this pearl. Okay, pull again to my work. Then what I need are eight green beads. Okay, here are my eight green beads and I'm going back through this pearl again. Sometimes it moves around like this, but I'll push it again. Okay, so now this is what I have and I will repeat this process two more times. Red golden green two more times and i'll be back okay guys and i'm here where i just finished this row and you see i have three golden rows three red rows and three green rows as i had before and now i will do the same thing that i did here i will take the splitters which are atos a crystal and an ato slide those down Take one pearl, slide it like this. Now take eight red beads. Okay, and I have my eight red beads, and I'm going back through this pearl. And yes, guys, it is that easy. So now uh, continue with this pearl, put the splitters, put another pearl, continue with this and when you think you have a bracelet that's long enough, I'll be back and show you how to finish it. Okay guys, and now I have here nine elements of my bracelet and I'm here where I need to finish it. Okay, I just added the last row here at my last pearl that I'm gonna be using for this bracelet and now what I do is that I take one ato going to slide this down I'm going back here through this pearl sorry for that now after I went out of this pearl what I do is that I go back through one of the rows, it doesn't matter which row. Let's say here I'm going through this golden row. And what I do is that I reach my bead here. And what I do is that I go again through this pearl here. And now I want to make a knot somewhere. I will choose a place or you could do several knots if you want. But let's say I'm choosing a place here for my knot. Or you could choose it here around this bit. It doesn't matter. Or you could do several knots at different places. Okay. So now how I do my knot. I choose a place between two beads. Make a loop. Go twice through this loop I've made, pull and after I pull I go through some beads and I will repeat my knot several more times and when I'm ready I'm always going through the following seed bead and I'm cutting my thread. Okay, so now my Christmas bracelet is almost ready. I just need to add 
my clasp okay so in order to add it i'm taking a jump ring i'm opening this one up and i will go here through this bead that i added last okay like this then i will take my clasp put it here and i'm going to squeeze back okay this is what i have and from the other side i'll put uh, another jump ring and i'll be back guys and i'm ready i put here the clasp on my bracelet so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and you will be able to make your christmas gifts and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is you could check down their description and you will find the full list of materials a link to my second channel bijoutel fast clips a link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials a link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to my store so thank you guys so much for watching bye bye from me